everyone is born with a purpose. All right, so we define the word purpose. Purpose is a noun. The reason for which something is done or created, creating for which something else exists. All right, you guys are gonna turn to Luke 1, verse 30 to 33. Luke 1, verse 30 But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. Not have you have not found you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, you and you are and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the, the throne of his of his father, David, and he will reign over Jacob's Descendants forever, his kingdom will never end. Um, okay, so we, we got out of that meaning that when you are, when a woman is pregnant, God birthed purpose already in her. And we use Mary to express that everyone is born with a purpose. The angel told Mary that not only what her son name will be, what she will be having, but what to expect out of him. Uh-huh. All right. And at the end of the day, who he will end up and who he will become. Uh-huh. So understanding who you are and understanding that everyone is born with a purpose for a purpose really, really matters. So now we're going to turn to Luke 2, verse 46-50. Because as a young boy, Jesus understood who he was. After three days, they found him in the temple courts, sitting amongst the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me? He answered. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he was saying to them. I feel like, <laughs> well, we feel like, as a, when you, <clears throat> the angel already told Mary, woman that this man that you're being that is being created in you is the son of God and I feel like when Jesus was responding to her he kind of had to remind her I understand I'm your son but I'm here on an assignment I have to stay focused on my purpose All right. and I feel you know as a mother we can get so caught up on what we want our children to do and, and the visions that I put up on my own child however my child is sitting here for a purpose for the purpose and sometimes we can't get in the way of doing that. Amen. Okay. Even though Mary forgot who her son was, the enemy didn't. All right. And we already knew, and we always know who we are, even when we lose sight of our own vision. So now we're going to take you to Luke 4. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go from Luke Amen. 1, verse 1 through 13. Okay, okay. okay. so we're going to define temptation. Temptation is a desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. <clears throat> through Through the setup of temptation, the enemy comes to still kill and destroy uh-huh. our purpose. Yeah. Setup. 
Yeah, it's a setup from, from, from the jump. Okay, so we're going to go from verse 1. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted by the enemy. He was, okay, hold on. Yeah, he was tempted by the, by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and at the end of them, he was hungry. The devil said to him, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, it is written, man, should not live by bread alone. The devil led him to a high place and showed him in an instant of the kingdom of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and splendor. It has been given to me, and I will give you anyone I want to. I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will be ours. Jesus answered, it is written, worship the Lord our God and our Savior and serve him only. All right. The devil led him to Jerusalem. And, hold on, your finger, honey. And he had, hold on, hold on I lost it now. And had him stand in the highest point of the temple. Mm-hmm. If you are the son of God, he said, throw yourself down. From here, for it is written. Okay, here, you know. <laughs> it is written. He will command his angels concerning you to guard you carefully. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. Jesus answered, "It is said, do not test the Lord your God." When the devil had finished all of his tempting, he left him until the appointed time, understanding that even though you get distracted, he won't. All right. Okay. He, he always going to be trying to set you up, to steal your purpose, to distract you from over here, anything that can come. And one thing about the devil, he's sarcastic and bold, because he says here, if you are the son of God, you see, sometimes people can... So, yeah, yeah, sometimes people can make you feel like, okay, so if you say who you is, then... Put your, put, your, put your money where your mouth is. Don't be easily tempted. Stay focused on your purpose. Mm-hmm. All right, so knowing all of that and what we said, um, what we want you guys to do is to ask yourselves, um, what is my purpose? Mm-hmm. What do I feel? Mm-hmm. What, what do God say that I am? Uh-huh. And understanding that, <laughs> and understanding that God wants us to live our to live our best lives, but to live our lives with, <clears throat> without a purpose is not is not living. Time. Okay. <laughs> it's not living with. Okay. To live our best lives, but to live our lives without a purpose is. It's not living at all. It's not living at all. Mm-hmm. Set some time to yourselves with God and ask Him to show you your to show you to show you you and. Set some time to yourself and ask God to uh, show you you oh, and begin to live a purposeful life. Uh-huh. All right, so uh, to show you your life. So you know what I said? And, you know, be aware of temptation. Try to stay away from it. If you have a struggle with it, talk to the Lord. and will help you through it. All right. All right. <laughs> so we'll ask you guys now to uh, get a $4 offering together for Sunday school. Amen. Thank you. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget. No, never. How can I forget what you've done for me? I said, how can I forget how you set me how can I forget how you brought me out? No, I won't forget. No, never. I'll never forget. I'll never forget. 